for this question, you need to know that um, there's a very important mathematical property with uh, patterns. And that is the following. Let's say I've got the sequence 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11, for example. If I work out the sum of uh, four terms, then that's going to be 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, which is 24. If I work out the sum of five terms, that'll be 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. And that's going to give me 35. What's amazing is that if I say the sum of the first five minus the sum of the first four, it's going to give me 35 minus 24, which is 11. Now this makes sense because all of these would cancel and you'd only be left with this last piece. So what I'm trying to show you, oh, and, and 11 is term five. So what I'm trying to show you is that if you want to find term five, you can say sum of the first five minus the sum of the first four, and that'll give you term five. If you want to find sum of 30, I mean, sorry, if you want to find term 30, then you say sum of 30 minus sum of 29. If you want to find the term of 13, then you say sum 13 minus sum 12. If you want to find the general formula, Tn, then you say sum of Sn minus Sn minus 1. One more, term 15, you would say S15 minus S14. See that? That is a mathematical property that you need to know. So if we want to find term 20, we can say that term 20 is equal to the sum of the first 20 minus the sum of the first 19. So the sum of the first 20, let me do this as a little side calculation. The sum of the first 20 would be equal to, um, so, you just, so you just plug in 20 in the place of P. So it'll be 20, 20 plus 1, 20 plus 2. And on the calculator, that'll give us 9,240. Then if we find the sum of the first 19, then you just plug in 19. 19 plus 1, 19 plus 2 and that'll give you 7,980. So we can now say that this is 9,240 minus 7,980, and that's gonna give a value of 1,260. And so that's the answer, 1,260.